Oh, I slept so hard last night. Oh. Ah. So hard. Oh. We slept in a bit today. The storm didn't go on for much longer. Once that craziness passed us once we were in the tent, uh, it didn't last too much longer. It kind of just passed over us and then it was done. sleepy still. We already slept in pretty good. But I can just keep sleeping. But we cannot. Oh! <sighs> My tarp is, uh, the stakes came out. And you can hear it. Slept so hard. Well, I suppose it's time to get out and get back. So let's do it. sleepy this morning. I don't know why. I, I overslept. I got like 10 hours of sleep I feel like. I definitely, oh, we gotta get cruising. <laughs> we got some time to make up because I slept in so good. Um, yeah, so uh, we've got a move today. Monty's laying down with the stick over there. He's not bringing it back. So let's just, let's queue up the coffee oatmeal queue sequence thing and do that stuff. Okay. 
Okay, okay, come in. Come in. Go. <laughs> he doesn't like getting messed with for his breakfast. Oh, we got a few swans over there. Oh, I needed this today. You ever just have a day where you just sleep in and just can't wake up? That's what I feel like right now. Oh. Stop looking at me, Schwan. Perfect drinking temperature. Just hot enough where I can't slug it. Mm. I love a good cup of coffee like that. Mm. Mm. Well, 10 portages today. Got a ways to move. Hopefully we catch a fish at some point in there. If we catch some fish, we're gonna fish, uh, if we get enough time tonight, we're gonna try for a fish dinner tonight. We'll see. We always have one tomorrow, but... It really depends on feeling, you know? But I still got that taste of that sweet, sweet Larry on my mind. Now I want some Walter to wash it down, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna finish up my breakfast here, make a nice poop, and then we're gonna get on that water to paddling, portaging, and fishing. Let's do it. Last call for passengers on the SS Good Times. All aboard, last call for passengers. Oh, sir, you've got a bug on your face. Oh, oh, oh. Ticket, please. Ticket, please. Oh, thank you. That's a very good ticket, sir. Come on. On the board. Come on. On the board. Come on. Let's go. We're going to get, we're running late. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. The SS Good Times is now departing. Destination Moor Wilderness. We are off. Oh, Monty, Monty, Monty. How dare you let me travel these waters without being safe. He knows the rule. Safety first, always. Always, always, always safety first. There we go. Now we're safe. We're looking good. I mean, I don't know how good we're looking. We're at least looking a little better. I mean, I like them. Blue skies. Blue skies. Nothing but blue skies. Blue dee doo blue skies. Blue, 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 blue. blue, blue. All right, so let's go with good news, bad news. The good news, we're still out in the wilderness. We've got two full days, including today. We have got half a white onion, one lemon, and half a tub of butter, so we can have one more delicious fish's dinner. Um, the sun is out, and Matty's a good boy. And we didn't die last night. The storm, it was crazy, and it went right over top of us, but it didn't seem like the lightning was landing on the ground. It seemed like it was just going between the clouds. It was crazy. I haven't seen anything like that. Normally the bolts just kind of go down to the ground, but that was just like purely up in the clouds. It's insane. I feel like that's like that heat lightning. Like I've 
was talking about it's just all just up in the clouds it was coming right above us and that's when i went in the tent like uh, it was like i saw a bolt go right over top of us and i was like yeah probably smart but anyways the bad news the bad news is that we've got a longer day today well the same amount of porridge as yesterday but they're all longer uh we got a later start than yesterday and it feels much hotter so although the the sun and the beautifulness was part of the good news. It's also part of the bad news because we are going to be sweltering. We're in these muck boots and socks. It's feeling hot. Already very hot. So, that means we're going to be working hard today. We're going to be sweating. We'll probably do some swimming. So, I guess the bad news really isn't that bad. It's just the news. Morse. Whoa, fish just jumped right in front of me. We either got weeds or a fish. I'm thinking weeds. Oh yeah, it feels like weeds. I'm just dragging on the top. Yeah, it's just weeds. That one absorbed all the stinky water. I dunked my boot again. Getting that ported shot. Oh. Oh man, there's all sorts of craziness going on down there. Check this out. fast we can knock this out this whole section we can do it with a decent pace um, then we'll make good time on the day so let's let's do it
Oh, you have this one, Monty? I don't know, it's pretty big. You want the stick? Get it, Monty. No, Monty, stay. No. I was joking. It was a joke. It was a, it was a bad joke. I don't think he would have actually done it, but you can't be too careful with that one. Maybe his little beady eyes couldn't see the waterfall. Monty, you silly. Oh boy.
Well, Monty, we just showed that first portage of the three who's boss, didn't we? Ha! Huh. Easy skip. Good boy. He was standing in the water anyways. Complains a little bit when he's got to swim, but not too much. We're not going too far anyways. Right, Monty? That's a good boy. I think we might do some swimming after this next portage. Uh, it's definitely the hottest day of the trip and uh yeah it's just <laughs> very warm mosquitoes aren't bad on that note but horse flies on the other hand are pretty they're pretty vicious right now Monty Phelps in all his glory. Look at you, you wild wolf. You want to jump in the boat now? All right. Come on. Good job. Good boy. Whoo! It's a warm one. That spot wasn't good to swim, so I think we're gonna paddle out here, find a nice spot where we can jump in real quick. And uh, yeah, we'll be on this lake for a minute. It's a decent sized lake. Oh wait. Okay. We gotta go this way. Okay, we'll swim up here. Swim like seven times already. No, 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 no. Oh, yeah, Monty. Oh, there's rocks up here. Hi, Monty. Oh, my lord. Oh, my lanta. Feels so good. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come here, Monty. Come here, Monty. Come here. Come here, Monty. Come here, Monty. Monty, come here. Come on, Monty. Come here. Now I want you to come here. Come on. Come on. Yeah, come on, check it out. We're swimming. Oh, yeah. Just a quick rinse, Monty. Hi, come here. Hi, come here. Come here. Come here. I gotcha. I gotcha. I wrangle you. I wrangle myself, a Monty. Got, caught myself a nice Monty today. Monty fish. We're gonna catch and release this one fish release cam. All right, go. Just wash my hair. 
Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That feels good. I think we're going to have a big old Monty sensor right over this section. We're kind of drying out natural. Uh, you know, there's no sense wasting a towel right now. It's just so windy, sunny, and just perfect. Free solo canoe is what they call this. Gotta take a few casts throughout the day, you know. All right, we've got a massive down tree here. It's a couple trees, actually. We're gonna base this entire lake's fishing on this one tree. If I catch one or have a bite, the lake's good. If I do not, there ain't, there ain't no fish in this pond. Ooh, that was a that was a pretty good cast. Oh my gosh! There's no way there's not a fish there. Oh, we snagged. That's why. Ain't no fish in this pond. What was that, Monty? Monty's guts or Monty just made a weird noise? You know, if you ever need to freshen up, you just take some cedar, you know, There we go. I smell just like brand new. It made a little bit of a mess, but that's okay. We just took a quick snack session. Got myself a water with some liquid IVs. I did a double batch. And we are ready to continue onwards. We've got a section of river to go down. Another river day. We have started the rivery portion. Well, we kind of were going down river al already, but you know, this is like the longer river stretches.
Get out of here, horse flies. Jeez. Yeah, the Monty, they're getting me too. Man, they're nuts right now. The deer flies. There's different kinds of horse flies. I kind of, I kind of call them all horse flies in general, but the deer flies are the ones. They got the black wings. They got the shiny, like green eyes. The wind took me. Anyways, yeah, the deer flies got the shiny green eyes, black wings. And they're the ones that will drive you nuts when they go into your hair. They just fly into your dang hair over and over again. What's going on here? What is this? What is happening? I don't even see where we're getting stuck. Ah! Yeah, deer flies, they're pretty easy to take down. Uh, then you got your horse flies, which are the big mumba jumbas. Those things are like, when you got a big old horse fly land, that's a horse fly, grade A. And then you got my least favorite of the trio that I'm used to, sand flies. The sand flies are the little dirty turds that look like little mini house flies. And they are vicious and they bite and they just suck. I hate them. They look like just normal little house flies and they're the hardest to kill out of all of them. And they're usually at sandy beaches. That's why they're called sand flies, but they're out in the lakes and stuff. And they're, man, they like, when I used to be in my sea kayak sometimes, like on a big lake, they'd get up into my legs and then they just, I'd kick around and they'd bite and then they'd, they'd kick and I just couldn't get them out. And they're just, oh, mm. Yeah, those are my least favorite for sure. Probably out of all the bugs. They're not, they don't come around that often, but when they do, oof, oof, I don't think we can power up this. I'm gonna have to get out, maybe. No, losing ground. Don't do that. We did it. We made it. Oh, nice. Didn't even have to get out. Hey, look at that. Look at us. Oh, I forgot to mention at the last portage I found a knife. It looks almost like a Mora knife. Just looks like a cheap knockoff Mora knife. But hey, a knife's a knife. Cheap or not. Better than just sitting there. I cleaned it up. It was all like dirty with like muck and the blade had a bunch of brown on it, but I cleaned it up and it looks pretty nice. But, you know. All right, Monty, we're not done yet. Come on, let's go, come on. Lead the way there, guy. Where's that breeze? I see it hitting those trees, but I want it on me and Monty's. Come on. It doesn't even look like it's windy on that side. It's going crazy over there. <sighs> Mosquitoes and the horse flies, they're getting Monty. They're biting up his ears. He's definitely got little uh, blood marks. The deer flies, they get right in under his ears and they just bite. I squish them. It reminds me of uh, one time when I was with Funk and we had our dog Hachi back in the day. Uh, we were going through some wilderness area where we wanted to do a one way through and we didn't have, you know, we just had us in the car. So I planned to drop Funk off with all the stuff portage our boats down to the first lake, get that all taken care of, and then I drove around to park on the other side 
and then I left my car there and I walked through the wilderness area and then I connected with the road we came in on and I walked up and I brought Hachi with me and everything was fine until we got to that road and we had to go about three miles and it was like hot but there was like a slight rain that was coming like it was like it was like today kind of like there was clouds but the the clouds had rain and then there was sun and uh the deer flies were absolutely insane just the worst you could imagine just a black cloud once we got on that dirt road and like we were just kind of running for like three miles and they're like all of a sudden i noticed hatching i looked and i was like oh man he's like his ears look like weird and red and like just like tons of red bumps like what the heck and i felt it and it was just 50 50 deer flies filled with blood per ear just just disgusting amounts biting him just and i felt terrible then i what i did is i I just took a branch off a tree, like a with a bunch of leaves, and I started swatting me and him as we were running. We were so we we're just like running <laughs> down this road, and I'm swatting him, and I'm swatting myself to keep him off me, and like <laughs> it was ridiculous. So I'm not doing that again. <laughs> oh, jeez. There you go. Those combos are too precious and too few to be spitting them out into a lake. You monster. Big pretzel and cheddar cheese. I guess I had three. Captain's wafers, which are cheddar cracker with cheddar cheese. The sour cream Chex Mix. Uh, or there was, what is it, sour cream and onion? That's compliments of funk. That's her go-to snack. I like to try other people's snacks sometimes. Because if you stick to the same thing, you're just like, hmm. I still like that, but then you try some other like, oh, that's really good. It was a nice change up, but this is one of my favorites, the combos. Ooh. We're on a bit of a lake here. We've got one more half, big old half mile portage for the day. And then we still gotta paddle down some river.
Get, get out of here. Never mind, we're not swimming here. It's just like poop muck. Oh, go get out of here, Monty. Oh, it's so stinky. Get out of here, flee. Flee. We'll go to the next spot. Come on. Hi. Thanks for tuning in. You're watching another episode of a man paddling in the wilderness in his underpants. Their little babies with them. Hey, little swanlings. <laughs> Look at those little guys. <laughs> Beaver, please. I no longer feel like going swimming. It's chilly in the shade and the wind, and the, sun, it, the sun's not as high. We've got an hour and a half of light remaining, and we've been on our lake, but it's been shallow and mucky, but now we're starting to get into the, we've got one more channel, and then we're on the main part. So I'm gonna start fishing for some walters in this channel here.
try there again in a second. That was a big walleye. We don't want you. I saw it. this guy just jumped out of the water after something. There you go. See you later. Alright, let's try for that one again. Might have been enough reset time. That felt like a walleye. Jeez Louise Bobbies. Look at that chunky Bobby. Big fat chunker. Okay, it was a Bobby. I was gonna say that felt felt pretty pretty strong to be a walleye, but I wasn't sure if there was Bobberts in this one. Apparently there is. Alright, let's let this guy go. channel at night. Yeah, there'd probably be Walters coming all through here. I know they like to feed at night and come to these shallow spots and channels. Looking a little cloudy and stormy up ahead. <laughs> oh no. I kind of want to catch a fish dinner tonight. I suppose what we should do is probably set up camp and then we can we can set up quick and then do the evening fish and do a real good night fish. We haven't done a, well we did kind of like an evening but not a proper nighttime fish. But I'd also like to take just a couple casts on the way there and maybe, you know, pick one up. We got a beaver home up here. And I've set up my camera near beaver homes a few times before. And there's one thing I've noticed a lot, and that's fish swimming by. I know beavers don't eat fish, so... I know there's a good chance. Let's try. see a monster down tree and where there's down trees there's fish and where there's fish you'll catch them if I was a Walter I'd be sitting at the edge of this tree in about five to eight feet of water just looking at the minnows looking at the tree waiting for stuff to come by for cover yeah we're gonna try it we're gonna try that out we'll try that snare out Ooh, this is just a nice down tree Rainbow this trip must be a little rain over there. I don't even know if I've seen one rainbow on a trip, but two? Shoot. Are you kidding me? It 
it's coming out even more now. Wow, look at that. Look at that there, rainbow. Nice. They're like a quarter rainbow. <laughs> you can see it to the right. There's another little piece of one. <laughs> it's getting brighter now. At least that section of it is. got weeds oh no I think we got a fish definitely a fish I think oh no it's not oh we might have lost it Fish is still on. It was a, it was snagged on a rock. But the line was, but the fish is still on. Whatever it is. Oh, oh it's a Walter. Yes, Walter. Oh, 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 oh! Don't, don't you dare! Don't you dare! <laughs> Looks like we're having fish dinner tonight. Oh yeah, we're having fish dinner tonight. Oh yeah, having fish dinner. Do 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 do. Once again, gonna eat some water till we're full. Now we've got some fishy, too fishy to eat. What a Monty is, cause he's in. You know, you know what they call that? That's just called nice. It's called nice. Go with the wall stringer. Walter for dinner. We're having Walter. Oh yeah. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. Beautiful Walter. Perfect eater size for dinner. Now we just need one more to have another feast. Oh yeah. I thought there was a fish on there and then the, the snag was just like, dang it. We're gonna kind of go by it. seemed like it was a rocky point. We're gonna try going by there again. Oh, and I kind of don't care about setting up camp really. We've got an hour of light left. I'm just gonna fish for a minute and then probably not even gonna set up. Much. We're just gonna like throw our stuff in a spot get back out in the water to fish in. We'll probably have a later evening, but that's okay, we'll sleep in tomorrow. This is like a rock point. Like at a rocky edge. I feel like this would be a good spot. How is it still shallow there? Is that a fish? Oh, it is a fish. Oh, it's a bass. Dang it. Dang it. Barry ate my leech. Barbara ain't got time for this. He got to go. Look at the size of that monster. <laughs> Look at this teeny thing. He's... He's the same size as the lure. Okay, we've got our spot here for the evening. Um, I'm probably gonna have to find firewood in the dark if I wanna have a fire. There's a couple pieces here, but it's definitely not enough. Yeah, then there's nothing really to, there's just that, there's nothing to really process. So, 
Yeah, I'm gonna set up as fast as I can, just really quick throw up to the tent, and we're gonna get back out there night fishing. So I'm not gonna record anything. We're just gonna quickly just set up a couple things so that we're not, just in case it rains, which is definitely not gonna, you know, just wanna be safe rather than sorry, okay. All right, the sun has just set. I got the tent set up with the rain fly. I got two big bottles of water. I even got two sleeping pads blown up. Threw the rest of the crap in there. All right, now it's time to try to catch another fish, another Walter. I guess I could eat a Bobby, but no, we want a Walter. And we're just, I think we're just gonna troll what we used to catch him already. We're just gonna go back to where we had him. And we're just gonna troll up and down that channel. Usually when, this is the, this is the, let's see this. Okay, this is the lure I use. This is the, the walleye sl charger slayer. It's the jointed Rapala. Not sure what the actual number is, but. Uh, yeah, that's what I usually use when I want to catch walleye. That's what I already caught that one on, so. We will just go back to where we caught that one troll up and down and, you know, let the night settle in and then Right here we've got a channel where our camp's set up right there and there's a little channel. We might just, I mean, if we if we don't catch anything, we could come back here and they'll probably be lurking through this channel. It's just a little channel between these islands. So, yeah. Sunset's probably pretty decent. I can't really see it from here, but, but you can see we've got like pink on the clouds over there. just set the line. Or it could be weeds. There's definitely something on here. I think it's a fish. I'm not feeling any pull. Just like, it feels like I, ex oh there it is. Oh, it just got off. It was a fish. Barely hooked, it must have been. Dang it. I'm gonna go restart and troll by that spot again. Another one of these teeny, I thought I was hitting bottom, but it's another one of these teeny, tiny, smallmouth basses. Oh, geez, no. Well, that, these are no good because it's almost so small that I can't tell there's something on there. <laughs> Dang it, Bobby Jr. Bobby, baby, Bob, baby Bobby Jr. I don't want no more of those.
something on. Oh, the mosquito. We're getting near shore. No, why am I near shore? The edge of the water is the worst for mosquitoes. I don't, I don't, I don't feel anything. Oh no, he's still there. I think. Why am I not feeling anything? Mosquitoes are swarming. I'm not feeling much. I hope it's not another teeny little bass. There's definitely some, oh. There's definitely something on there. Come on. It's too late to be a bass. Come on, you've gotta be a Walter. Come on, oh, oh he's definitely still there. Oh, the mosquitoes are just horrible. I don't even have my headlamp on. Where is it? Oh, I can't see. Oh, God. Oh. Where is it? I cannot see anything. It's another Walter. Yes. Victory. <laughs> oh, mosquitoes are so bad right here. Oh, yes. Heck yeah. There we go, baby. Another Walter. I'm gonna get him on the stringer and then we're gonna grab a piece of firewood and get back to camp and get ready for the feast. Oh yeah. <laughs> Good job, Monty. I'm not sure if the GoPro can pick up all these mosquitoes, but it is a crazy swarm. It's always like this at dusk on the water's edge, especially even up in the woods a little bit, but right on the water's edge is the worst. Oh my gosh, it's just, it's, it, it's insane. I don't know if you can see all those, it's just <laughs> hundreds of them. There's just something wonderful about a plan just coming together. It's just, it's sexy really, you know? We got our double Walters. We got firewood. Once we lost that first one, I don't know, I wasn't too worried. I, I was pretty much certain I was gonna catch another fish because the fish are just biting tonight. I mean, you saw that. I caught, what, as soon as I started fishing, I caught a bass and a pike right away. Then I started trolling. I caught that little thing. Came and set up, or wait, did I? Did I get the walleye on the way here? Did I get that walleye before I came to camp? Yeah, I think I did, yeah. I, I, ca I caught that on the way to setting up, like, we're just trolling, set up, got back out there, immediately had another bite, then caught another little teeny baby bobby, and then caught my walleye. Like, they were biting tonight. So that is wonderful. I kind of, part of me wants to keep fishing. I, I did set up my, my line out there with my slip bobber, because 
but if I kept fishing, it'd be, we'd be up super late, but I'm sure I could catch a whole bunch more. I mean, there, the bite is on tonight. I mean, I didn't even fish that long, and I've caught like one, two, three, four, five, six fish within like, a, like an hour of fishing. So all we gotta do now, process up this here firewood, start a fire, fly up our fish, then it's feast time. You know, I'm curious to see. Walleye is some of my favorite fish, and I'm curious to see what's gonna taste better with this fry method, if it's gonna be the walleye or the, cause a walleye fish fry, that's like, that's like a staple. So we'll see if butter fried. If I have to guess, I think the walleye might be a little bit more delicious with this butter fry method. I'm not sure though. I do, do love walleye. I always tend to get more firewood than I need. Like uh, the other night when we had the other fish cooking up, I had double what I needed. Definitely did not need that much, but you know, you leave it for the next person that comes along. You know, maybe they're maybe they're cold or something. They need a fire going ASAP. Who knows? Maybe they don't know how to catch, collect firewood. Maybe they don't know how to be. You know. You never know what's going on. I just want to. Whenever I'm cutting a firewood like this. I always start with the worst end first. That way, as you're cutting, it gets easier. You know? Do the biggest, fattest part first, and then it just gets easier and easier. When you use two hands on this, it goes a lot quicker. thing I decided this trip is uh, so normally what I use is I used to carry the MSR or I still I carry the MSR trail shot in my I used to carry it in my pocket of my pants now I have that little thwart bag or whatever you call it that sits out for easy access uh, so I can store a decent amount of stuff in there I've decided I am going to get a small gravity filter uh, to put in there because right now that trail shot man it's it was great at first but like even with back flushing and stuff it's just not that fast and it's just like to fill up one small analogy and it's just like uh kind of a pain and like I would drink more water if it wasn't as if it, if it didn't take as long to filter it and you know the trail shot is nice because I can be out in the lake and just take a few sips but with my new method of using like liquid IVs or electrolytes I like to fill up an entire Nalgene and then drink it and it's actually getting me to drink way more water than I've ever drank before when I'm out canoe camping so I think with the one I got now is a 10 liter that's too big to like I mean I could probably still fit it in there but that's just a pain to just like you know if I just want a little bit of water to fill that whole thing up so I think I'm gonna get like a 2 liter one like my old one. My old one was a four liter before I got the new one, which is a 10, which that's perfect for around camp. But I think a two liter, put in the Thorpe bag, just fill up that little baggie, and just, even if I just held it to fill my Nalgene quick, that would be fine. It doesn't take that long, and it'd be a heck of a lot. It's just that pump, it just like, after like, I'm like halfway full, I'm just like, ugh. And I'm like trying to make it go faster. It's just, it's like the old pumping ones. But it's still, it's not a bad filter, it's just, I like to filter my water without doing any work, just fill up the bag and let gravity do the work. I think that's the best way.
I don't know if that's a good spot. Oh, Heaven Tabutski. Uh, oh. Mm. I made a very smart decision at some point throughout the trip to keep the chapstick in my pocket because there's a couple days there where middle of the day my lips were so chapped and I wanted it so bad but it's, it's in my big dry bag. I was like, you know what, I got two of these. And when your ch lips are super chapped and you just want chapstick, Man, just having is nice. Um, so we are completely ready. I've got like the boat flipped, the fish are filleted. Uh, we're ready to cook here. So uh, I'm hungry, very hungry. I'm sure Monty's hungry. Are you hungry, Monty? Do you want some food? Do you want a treat? Do you want to eat some some Walter? Go for. Do you want to go to the dog? No, you got the dog park. You know, you, but you do want some food? Yeah, see, the food is what's twitching his ears real bad. Are you hungry? You want to eat some food? <laughs> You're such a good boy. I towel dried him. We still got to brush him, but, uh, well, I suppose the only way to start feasting is to start getting stuff ready, so... Let's start making dinner. Let's do it. There's our beautiful Walter Flays. I'm gonna take these three. I took, we had one big walleye and one smaller one. So I took the two smalls and one big and Monty got one big filet. And yeah, and that's plenty of fish for him. He feasted, the, the Larry night was probably a little too much for Monty, but it's all good. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna feast. Of course, to start for mine, we need the one, the only, the white onion, which we will will very intelligently cut into the pan, as to dull the knife on purpose. Then we're just going to cut up our lemon quick. Put that off to the side. Ooh! I got that little cut I got. <laughs> oh, it feels so good. Let's get to cookings. Alright, let's get our onions going. Potatoes. Oh yeah. these instant baby red mashed potatoes. Oh yeah. Always delicious with the fishes. as they sit here. Ours is going, that fire's hot. We gotta make sure it's ripping. 
because we're about to add in the goods. All right, Monty's. One of these needs a I'll flap it there. Okay, well, this is close. Seasoning. Oh yeah. Oh, it's frying now. Oh, that's so hot. Jeez. Man, burning myself today. One more bullet, why not? All right, Monty's is done. Can't see. Oh, Jesus, smoke is just getting to me. about done oh yeah let's get a nice char on there all right it's time to pull it off and get the rest prepared Scoopski potatoes. Oh, and with the fork of approval, that right there, ladies and gentlemen, is a Walter feast. Let us begin. Oh, yeah. Monty, do you want to eat some food? Are you hungry? Yeah, I bet you are. You're a good boy. Yes, you are a good boy. You're going to get a treat. You want some food? Wait, wait, wait. You need your supplements. One, two, three, one, two. Other ones, Monty. There you go. Go ahead, Monty. You've earned it. Oh, as if I earned this. We're gonna just take. That's gonna be the way. Oh, it's not gonna be the way. Oh, jeez. Squirt that over the 
sweet, sweet Larry. Or Walter. Sorry, getting them all mixed up. Okay. And now, the feast begins. Hot. Oh, it's got lemon juice in my eye. Oh, it burns. Oh, jeez. Oh. Oh, lemon juice in the eye doesn't feel good. Ah, oh, geez, wow, that was fun. Mm. So the real question is, tis the Walter or tis the Larry better? I gotta say, they're pretty equal. They're pretty equal, but I think this, the walleye here, fried it up a little better. Just the meat. Mm. It fries a little better. I think I'm going to have to put... I think Walter's going to have to go on top. This is really good right now. But, I mean, they're both equally delicious, but I feel like this one fries up a little bit better. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, so hot. Oh, man. I just want to inhale it. in that lemon juice. Mm. Oh, those potatoes are hot. Oh yeah. Oh, this is hitting the spot right now. Oh. Dinner at two. Well, how do you do? <laughs> yeah, it's two. It's pretty late. But that doesn't make me any less enthusiastic about this. So the stars are out like crazy. Uh, it's completely clear skies. So, wow. Uh, I'm going to finish this up with the light off so we can look at the stars here because I cannot see anything but that bright light right now and the fire 
and Monty. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna finish up here. We're gonna enjoy that this fine evening with this delicious meal. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, Monty. Monty. Come here. Come here, big teddy bear. There it is. Yeah. There he is. He's settling in. This little creature. He loves crawling into this tent. <laughs> Uh, he comes and waits by the tent, and then I opened it to start putting together our sleep stuff, and he just, as soon as I had his, uh, sleeping pad here with this little, uh, liner on it, I went to go do something with the door open while I was getting ready, and I come over here, and he's back in here just, like, laying on it. He's a little monster. But he's so precious. Yes, he is. He's a good boy. Anyways, it's super late. <sighs> Very late. We're definitely sleeping in tomorrow. I think we've got like, I don't know, eight portages tomorrow. Only four of them are big. But eight portages but we're not moving crazy far tomorrow so we can take our time uh we can fish a little bit of the lakes and uh i don't know what else to say i'm so tired of full of everything so i'll catch you guys more good everybody All my stuff. Oh, ah, oh, jeez. <laughs> hey, puppy dog. Oh, it's getting warm out. It's getting too warm. Oh, we slept in pretty good. I slept real good. Um, it's getting too hot in here to handle. We gotta escape this tent. Let's get up. Let's do it. We set a new record for sleeping in. It's noon. Uh, me and Monty needed this, so it's fine. It's all fine. It's all good. Uh, but now we should probably start thinking about moving. So, like, what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna start packing up. We're going to do this crazy thing where you make coffee and oatmeal in a sequence and get on the water to paddle and pour and fishing. Let's do it.
soupy. We got real crazy today. We went ahead and mixed bananas and cream, peaches and cream, and maple brown sugar. Whoa. And I know what you're thinking. That's too much craziness for oatmeal. Well, I like to live life dangerously. There. I need help. It's sticking to the bottom and it's sliding down the hill. I would like you to do the thing. You stir it up and it gets all loose. And I can eat it. There you go. Seems like it's gonna be another hot one today. We're gonna to be sweating. I'll probably I didn't get to go swimming yesterday because that was just it was it was nasty. It was like it looked like I was a couple feet deep and I was just gonna shallow swim. But it was at least three it was more muck than water. And it was the stinkiest and smelled like straight up farts. So I didn't So essentially I got in there and it, I got myself covered in fart muck and didn't swim, so I got stinkier. Anyways, we're gonna finish up our breakfast here, get on that water, to paddling, to portaging, and to fishing. Let's do it. Now departing the SS Good Times, all aboard, all aboard. You're so quick. Come on. All aboard. Come on. Come on. You can do it. Come on. Yeah, you put your paws there. And you stay. There you go. Look at you. Wow, good job. Safety first. Always safety first. Oh. Oh. Who? Oh. There we go. That's better. That's better. Well. Might as well troll a line and see if we can pick up a fish here oh, to start our day off right. Yes. Yes. So it looks like we've got seven, wait, let's see. Seven portages for the day. Um, four of them are bigger normal portages, big fat portages. Three of them are teenies. So, and the last three are 
half milers, so that'll be fun. Looks like we're basically we're gonna go across this lake, then we're gonna just, it's like four portages in a row down a little stretch of river to the next lake. Then we run a lake, then we do those three portages, lake to lake, and not a ton of paddling over most of those lakes, and then we're on our lake for the evening. It shouldn't be a longer day, it's just gonna be a lot of paddling, or portaging right, right in a row, so. Yeah. So we should, depending on how long this, these first ones take us, we'll probably fish, fish these lakes a little bit, each of them. Definitely gonna troll across. Oh, the wind, it feels so good. Definitely got something. Can't tell if it's pulling good Ooh. because I'm just blowing in the wind or because it's a decent fish. It's my least favorite to fight a fish in the middle of a lake when the wind blowing like this and you're just like pulled to your side. But it's fine, these aren't big waves at least. I've done this on a big lake like Lake Superior. <laughs> Fought a fish in just some crazy winds with some big roller waves. That's not as fun. Be a little bobby actually. How long is this line? Oh, what is it? Well, I think it is a pike. Oh no. <laughs> it's a little bobby. A little baby bobby. fish for the day. Boop. See ya. We don't need to fish anymore today. We're done. This is probably a, a good time to mention that this is our final full day of the wilderness trip. It goes by so fast every time when you're just like moving all day and fishing, staying up late, sleeping, packing, moving. There's really, the way I do it, I'm always doing something and like I, I take my time doing those things usually I'm not like rushing I'm just all my time is filled because I just you know mosey around and just like that's just how I roll that that's my style so I'm usually I don't have a ton of time where I'm sitting there usually I do that like late at night by the fire and I'll pick and choose places but that's just how I like to camp that's how I do it and tonight we're trying to uh pretty much get right near the lake where I'm leaving. So we'll only have one little, one smaller portage tomorrow and not a crazy ton of paddling. Cause I got like a seven, eight hour drive tomorrow to get home. So I don't like to do a ton of work before I have to do that. We're either hitting Bob or uh, we've got another of the teeniest bass in the world. I think we got another teeny little baby bass. So many small teeny bass. I think we're gonna move on to the next lake or something. I don't want to troll for these little minnows anymore.
Monty, aren't you scared to you hit your face with an oar? I've done it a few times this trip already. But I think he likes to sometimes just see forward. Just like this. But he can do that in the back, you know. He just angles back there this way. But we got two portages down. Five to go. We got two more teenies coming up here. Yep. And then we'll be on a lake. We'll probably take a few casts once we get to that lake. You know, we can't we can't let that little teeny baby Bobby Juniors be our fish for the day. That just won't do. But I mean it, if we don't catch anything, we're still successful. So there's that. It's a little annoying, but during the day like this, when the sun's out and it's hot and the bugs are bad, like, oh, I don't know what I'd do without the wind. Now at this point, I'm just so happy. It just feels so good, those big gusts of wind. Not to mention, them, you know, the wind's kind of taking me with, it's pushing where I'm paddling, so that's, that's nice. When you're on these little waterways, the wind going with you is awesome. Big lakes, you know my you know my thoughts on that. But yeah, it's it's a blessing today. Another blue skies day. Who knows what we'll get later on in the day. It seems the weather's been one thing in the morning and then another thing in the evening. But seeing as how we slept in so late, we're gonna be at midday we're already past midday almost. Er, yeah. <laughs> oh, jeez. It's okay. I think we're going to definitely fish a little bit the next lake. We're making good time. We'll definitely want a little break for those big old portages. Because they're just like one after the other. Well, two of them are kind of in a row. Then I could take a break fishing for the last one. Well, that's four portages down. Uh, and now we've got this nice lake to fish for a bit before we do a couple more biggins. I put back on the uh, eighth ounce jig head because the uh, quarter ounce was just taking my bobber down and I couldn't see the tip. It was keeping it from drifting, which is nice, so I might want to get a bigger slip bobber and use the cord rounds. Because when I cast out at night, if I'm going for walleye, I don't like when it moves as fast. Because that means I just keep resetting it. I mean, there's got to be bobbies in here. Why are they not biting? Why are they not where I'm casting? Why? Why are they? This is rude. There we go. Oh. What? 
Oh, he took my leech. Turd. How dare you take my leech and not call me afterwards? Oh my gosh. Must be this little stinker. I swear, if he stole another leech. There we go. There we go. Wow, uh, little Bobbert. Oh, and he just flung off my leech again. You stinker. You leech stealing little turd. All right, we're going to fish release cam this leech thief. There's a turtle on that log. I want to catch some fish over here. There we go. Oh. oh, 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 oh. Oh. What's up with the little booberts? Lots of little ones. There we go. Hey turtle, how's it going? You chilling? It's a nice log you got there. All right, well, see you later. It's one of the few turtles that couldn't care less about my existence. He's just chilling. Normally they flee, they dive, dive, dive. He did not care, he's like, well, yeah, see ya. Another big lake with crystal clear water. There's so many little fish and stuff down there. Look how crazy it looks down there. smallmouth bass you know in these rocks I mean, oh there we go I was gonna say oh this one feels better a little better a little better Bobby that's what we're talking about Bobus I was gonna say I normally catch them on these rocky points Ooh, this one's feisty we got a feisty boobert a little boobus Oh, hey there, booby. Oh, hey, boss. Hey. Now that's a respectable booby. Hey, Bobby? Bobby, I'll let you free. Hey, 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 hey.
where the bigger bobs hang out. There's all the bobs. idea Whew, that was fun hey Monty we had a big old wave come over the side a big one caught us because we had to come this way a little bit oh we're hitting bottom and uh, <laughs> a bunch of water got in the boat because it hit us at the side it was a big one and then Monty stood up with it was just like what the heck because he got wet normally he just sits there but he doesn't like when water blasts him in the face oh geez the wind picked up more than I oh my gosh we caught a fish after all that what the heck another teeny bobby what were you thinking mister
Come on, Monty, come on. Come on. Shoot the gap, Monty, come on. Come on, Monty. Come on. Come on, Monty, do it. Come on. Yeah, you did it, Monty. You're so athletic. It's amazing, really. Oh, jeez. That is deep. I was expecting it to have a little something. Oh, jeez. Monty, it doesn't help that you're standing. Jeez. <sighs> that was the scariest little butt so fat. <sighs> well, that was a fun little portage there. It's pretty much just a half mile uphill uh, hopping on boulders. Kind of like stairs. That was a that was a sweaty portage right there. Uh, Lots of fun, lots of fun. I wanna say that that is probably the worst one of the day, knock on wood, but it might not be. We got two more, we got one right up ahead, which is uh, two thirds the size of that one. So not near as bad. I don't know if it's uphill or down. Oh geez, gotta love those rocks out in the middle of the lake when you're not paying attention. I'm just glad I didn't hit it nose first. Always, always it catches me off guard and I'll just like, you get that like, jolt of chill or whatever it is. I don't know, you just get all like, oh. Oh. I do kind of feel like taking a swim, but I want to at least knock out this next one before thinking about swimming. Maybe even the final one of the day, we might just, do this one paddle on over and get it done then swim because it is about six o'clock we got four hours of light left two portages to go that's what you'll get when you sleep in until what do we sleep i don't even know when it was noon or something ridiculous yeah it was it was late one today normally the latest i'll ever sleep in is like 10 that's like me thinking I'm sleeping crazy late in, but I did stay up pretty dang late. So, let's knock out this portage and then reassess our lives. We'll probably just knock them both out and just get to the lake, swim, and then we can just set up camp and fish and relax on our final evening out here. That sounds pretty good. You know, I don't want to get into, stuck in a situation like yesterday where I can't swim, and then I get chilled out by the wind. You know, you gotta swim right after those portages sometimes, because otherwise you're just like, you feel all fine, and then you're just like, eh, <laughs> get in the water, it sounds cold. So, Monty, let's do it. Let's do another portage. Always with the little bobbies. Everywhere I go. I mean, what what gives? Another little turd nugget. You just flung my leech off on me. You dang it.
I've never caught so many small bobbies in a row in so many different lakes. And I know there's big ones in here. I mean, there has to be. I mean, maybe these lakes all got small ones, but uh, the lake yesterday, we caught a big one. I think that was the first thing we caught. And then we caught a bunch of teenies. another spot so many little ones I mean geez hey Steve that's a pretty big Steve Ooh. Ooh. Pretty, it's a pretty large steep. I don't know if I want to. It's a pretty, pretty big Steve. I mean, look at the size of my thumb compared to him. Ooh. 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 That's a big guy. I mean, yeah, look at my thumb. That's. Ooh. Steve. I just want to pet you, Steve. I just want to be friends and pet you. Ah. 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 See you, Steve. Get a bite. Another teeny little booby. Teeny boobs. I feel like there's just teeny little booberts in this lake. See ya. All right. We'll just fish the next one. I mean, I don't want to keep catching teeny little bass. I want big bass, big bubbies, big boobies. crazy luckily it was just, I was going straight with the pin and I just was keeping us straight with the waves but the next lake uh, like all the campsites are so this lake's shaped this way the other lake shaped this way and all the campsites are on this side so that means and it's a big lake so it's about as wide as this thing is long. <laughs> so that whole shore with all those campsites is just gonna be blasted and it's gonna be rough riding. So we're gonna just, we're gonna just get there and see what happens. <laughs> Shallow. 
I just swim out and I don't touch the bottom. Uh, it's not as enjoyable. But it might be my only option, my peak. Be able to stand there and rinse off. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this at all, Monty. It's so much worse when you just have to lay in it. Oh, 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 that's chilly. Oh, 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 yeah, Monty. I gotta. Rip off the sweat, you know, clean out my good bits. You know, Monty, you know how it is. Oh, just doing a push up right into the cold water is just, it's just not what I wanted to do. That wasn't that enjoyable. There's the sun. It's a lot warmer in the sun. It was chilly there for a minute. Oh. Well, we've got about an hour and 45 minutes of light remaining. Got to find a campsite and stuff. I'd like some snacks. I'm actually kind of hungry. You know, if we get a if we got a spot that's got a good site for the sunset, I might just post up, not go out fishing. You know, just enjoy the final evening. We might do that. I just hope. We get one that's not like tucked away. It's kind of like, you know, some of them are like up in the woods. Some of them are like right on the water's edge. I want one that's one right on the water's edge. But we have to, I think, it doesn't look too windy right now on the other side, but once you get over there is when the wind starts blasting. It doesn't seem too bad right now though. What is that? It should be worse. Well, anyways. We're not gonna be too picky. The wind must just be calmer on this lake. I mean, it's not too bad. I mean, it's still breezy, but nothing like that last lake or that the one where I caught the mini bass while I was trolling. I think I see a campsite that's got a decent view of a potential sunset. So we're gonna go inspect it. Inspect it. Here. Here. It's not the best. Uh, could sit there. We'll still be able to see a sunset at least. But the campsite's tucked away, but it seems like most of them are on this shore. It's just they're pelted by the wind, so. Oh, I got my stuff hanging out drying. Monty's up in here chilling. We've got a nice breeze, so it'll help with the mosquitoes a little bit. But Mr. Monty has already found his spot. <laughs> Look at you. Look at you. That's a good boy. Well, I'm gonna put on some clean clothes and then we're gonna get set up here for our final evening. Back is hurting. Oh, we just, I just got all my clothes changed. I got some water, ate a few snacks. Oh, now we're gonna set up, but I wanna see if Monty wants to change this.
Get it, Monty. <laughs> Just rolls over backwards because he can't figure out what the heck's going on. Oh! You know, when you get towards the end of a trip, you start to feel things more. You know, I was fine until we got to this campsite and I changed my clothes and now my back's starting to hurt. My legs are a little shaky. I'm just like, ooh. I think it's because we we're so close. We, we moved to quite a good distance on this trip. This is a pretty good one. Pretty good, pretty good. Monty, bring me that stick right here. Come on. I know you got some life left in there where you want to play some stick. Bring it. Bring it here, Monty. Come on. Yeah, I know. Normally I don't throw them birch bark sticks. Want this? Do you want me to throw it? Do you want me to throw it? Okay. Little turd. So yeah, we got the sunset in like half hour, 40 minutes-ish. We got a decent spot. We'll probably, uh, if I get set up quick enough here, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna heat up my skinny. I don't think we're gonna have a fire tonight. It's still pretty breezy right here, and I'm just, I'm pooped, okay? I don't feel like getting firewood. Not tonight. We're just gonna, oh, we're just gonna, you know, make our skinny, watch the sunset, and, uh, you know, start thinking about that there bacon cheeseburger that we're gonna smash tomorrow. Cause that's gonna happen. And it happens 100% of the time when I go on an extended trip. Even the one time when I couldn't, when I had to leave early and and I had to, I was getting out at sunset and I had to drive seven, eight hours home. I still found my bacon cheeseburger at a gas station. It was, it was not the best bacon cheeseburger, but I still found it. No matter what they say about me, I'll always find my bacon cheese.
Are you smiling? 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 What kind of face is that? What kind of face is that, Monty? You stinker. Mr. Mount Stinky here, or a hair pooped. See, I'd say Monty's fine, and I'm just the one feeling tired. But I mean, look at him. It's like the—he's just—he's just like the fourth time he's instantly just like laid down and passed out somewhere. I keep crinkling stuff and waking him up, but he's—he's he's definitely a sleepy boy. Oh, I am gassed, ladies and gentlemen. Sleep is starting to sound really, really nice. Ugh. Yeah. It sure am, yes. Oh, this is going to be so good. Got a few split fingers, which always feels wonderful. Usually happens to me after wet wet hands dry wet dry wet dry look at that overbite on that dog it's just so big it's gotta suck to never be able to close your mouth i'm even banging stuff around next to him and he is just out <laughs> uh, as soon as i crank all his food bag though he's gonna be up and at him it's still breezy out there. It's still breezy right here. We gotta heat Monty up some water first, give him a nice hot meal. Because he deserves it. I mean, look at him. Does he not look like he deserves a hot meal? I think he looks like he deserves a hot meal. What a 
precious creature he is, huh? Look at him. Just in all his glory. Look at his little sheep feet. <laughs> Dreaming Monty dreams. <laughs> Soon as I bring out the dog food, when he's gonna, he's gonna perk right up and be like, "Could I, could I get some of that before I pass back out, please?" I see there's slight movement in your little beady eyes, there, Monty. Let me, let me make it nice, okay? All right, Monty, now I just need to get some, get some warm water, and then we're gonna let it soak for a minute, cool down, and then you, don't drool. No, Monty, don't drool. No, no, don't drool. There's no need to drool. Monty, listen. I'd give it to you right now, but I know you just eat those supplements, and then you'd ignore the rest until I put the hot water in there. So we're just gonna skip right past that part, and you're just gonna... Why is it getting all windy all of a sudden? It's like picking back up again. Do you want a treat? Oh, you're so precious. All right, Monty. No, 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 no. I, 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 lay down, lay down, lay down. <laughs> lay down, lay down. I meant roll over. Roll over, Monty. Roll over. Monty, roll over. No, lay down. Can you roll over? Roll over, Monty. Roll over. Roll over. Oh, that's such a good roll over. All right, you can go ahead. He did the he did the rollover. That's his version of rollover. Is just flop on his side. <laughs> oh, let him eat. Whatever. He wants to eat his supplements and then eat a little bit. Here, we'll move it back for you. What's the point making him wait if he doesn't want to, right? I have a good feeling though he's gonna stop in about like 10 bites. You want a spaghetti? Well, I'll be honest, I've already said it like seven times, I am very tired. Uh, we're just letting our spaghetti, it's already cooked up, it's just got to sit for a half hour. I'm just going to kind of zone out, I can kind of see the sun 
the just this horizon and I'm just gonna chill. I'm just gonna just yeah, enjoy this last little evening here. I'll check back in with you guys when I'm, it's time to eat, because I ain't got much left to say. I'm pooped. <laughs> okay. Some water? That is a very big Steven. 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 Hi, can I pet you, Steve? Ooh, 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 Steve, jeez. Just wanted to say hi and pet ya. <sighs> that was definitely one of the bigger Steves I've seen. That thing was the size of my finger. <laughs> Makes me a little nervous when I'm trying to pet a spider that big. Monty, where are you going? Mm. Oh, the spaghetti. Every time, Auntie. It just always has a spot. Those bugs. I'm gonna finish up my sketty here. Probably see if there's any pieces of candy left. I did some damage as you can see, there's all my trash in there. Oh, there's something solid in there. <laughs> we'll get to that. But, uh, yep. Just gonna finish up, clean up. And get in there and get ready for bed because me and Monty, I'll say it one final time, we are pooped. Go ahead, buddy. Go ahead. There you go, you little stinger. <laughs> We're in the tent. It's time to sleep. I'm gonna gas Monty out. <laughs> All right, nothing more needs to be said. We're passing out. I'll catch you guys in the morning. Good night, everybody. Good morning. Monty. <sighs> Yeah, yeah, look at that doggy. Good morning, Monty. Monty, look at your look at your face. What are you doing? Oh Monty, you fall off the sleeping pad. Monty, what are you doing? Monty don't lick the tent. Monty is gross. What are you licking the tent for? Monty, stop licking stuff. What are you doing? Monty, don't like the tent. <gasps> oh, I passed out. Bring it! 
Let's go to Jumanji. I was drooling. I drool all over my pillow. I passed out pretty good. Oh, I slept pretty hard. It's windy out there. I can hear wind. Anyways, it's time to pack up. No coffee, oatmeal today. We're just heading on out. Mind you, what's that? It was a toot. Anyways, yeah, no coffee, no oatmeal because we got something to look forward to in a few hours. So, let's get up. Let's do it. <sighs> What are you doing, Monty? What are you doing down there? Huh? What are you doing, mister? You getting a drink? You getting a drink in the lake? Yeah. Yeah, a puppy. Oh, look it out there. It's just gorgeous. Well, what do you say, Monty? Pack up time? Or you wanna go swimming? Huh? You wanna go swimming, you big butt? Hmm? No. I'm like, no, get away from me. I don't want to swim. Why would you think that? I'm dry. Stay away from me, freak. Mr. Monty. Monty? You just woke up, Monty. Why are you already going back to bed? Mr. Sure long nose. Hi. Is that a good doggy? I'm so sorry. I can't stop farting, Monty. I can't stop farting. I just can't stop farting. He loves his ears rubbed. He's swimming on the ground again. 
Is some other ground again? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, jeez. Well, I suppose, Monty, it's time to pack up that DSLR and get on the water to paddling, portaging. And that's it. session before we go. One more quick crash session. One more. Yes. 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 I wasn't eating ya. Come here. Come here. Don't groan at me. Come here. Come here. What are you doing? I wasn't eating ya, you silly. It's like you were scary. I thought you were actually eating me. Oh, gosh. The Yesos Good Times is now departing for its final destination. Final call for passengers. All aboard! All aboard! All aboard! All aboard! Monty, get over here. You're gonna make me say it, huh? Come on. Wait. Ticket. No, no, no. Ticket. Show me your ticket. Sir! 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 <gasps> Illegal passenger. I can't raise him. Uh, we just gotta go. We'll just have to catch him when we, when we get to our destination. Oh. Okay. So we've only got one portage to take care of this morning. Nothing too crazy. It's a little chilly out of the w the sun. Well, there it is. Probably warm right up and not want to wear this thing anymore. Oh. oh. So I was looking at my paddle here, and I think this might be its last. <laughs> it's uh. Well, this part's not stable anymore. It kind of from all the push and stuff, but. Look at how beat up that paddle is. It's lasted me quite a long time. I'm sure it could still, you know, I could still use it just fine. It's just when I'm pushing off rocks and stuff, you know, how long has it been? Seven years? Seven years with this paddle? I don't know, I've pushed it, beat it up, just, you know, scave her off rocks and stuff. It's lasted a long time. How long has it been with this paddle? Maybe longer than that. I don't know. 
Anyways, I might need to replace it. I got my secondary paddle, which is pretty much brand new, but I want to have two good paddles on me at all times. You know, because it's kind of important when you're going on a canoe trip and you're paddling across like 10 lakes a day, you kind of need two dependable paddles. So, pretty important. Okay. Would you look at the blue flies? Aren't they wonderful? They're completely yesterday. No clouds in there. I've mentioned this before, but on trips, I always prefer to have all your rain and wetness in the first portion of the trip and to end on a nice sunny, dry day. And that's exactly what we got. I mean, day two was raining and windy all day, and then we had the thunderstorm rain day. Yesterday was pretty dry. Well, it was completely dry, but I was wet with sweat. But this morning, I mean, I guess there's still a chance it could rain. Well, maybe not. Nah, I think that's a 0% chance of rain right now. It takes, it takes them rolling in. But, uh, yeah, it's nice to be able to just have yourself dry, wake up to a dry tent, and just, you know, then when I get home, it's not just a sopping wet mess. Because as soon as I get home, that's the first thing I gotta do is start uploading the footage onto my computer, and then hang everything in my garage so it can air out. I only made the mistake one time of thinking a sleeping pad was not wet at all and just had a little bit of moisture in there. And then when I pulled it out to use it next, it was completely covered in mold and just like stinky and musty. So now, no matter what, even if I don't think I've used something, like my, if I bring out a tarp and I would, it was a completely dry trip, I still pull it out of its stuff sack and air everything out just to be safe. And like my hot tents in the winter before before the season's over, I air them up real good. I do it like multiple times because I always get nervous those hold a lot of moisture. Well, okie dokes, folks. We've got less than a half mile to paddle to the car, which is not far at all. So, with these calm winds, I don't think nothing's gonna go awry here. But then again, you always gotta keep yourself on your toes because that one time I was two feet from the dock or to, to get out and get to my car and I flipped the boat. Always keep that in the back of my mind as a reminder that you're never 
you're never you're never done until you're done <laughs> but anywho uh it's time to wrap this one up i mean we had a wonderful trip we got to have wind rain thunderstorm we got to see beavers loons and we got to see one of our best moose experiences ever which was awesome we got a double larry meal we got a double walter meal we caught lots of bobbies little bobbies we caught a peter too fish every day met all our goals and yeah we had a blast so we're just gonna finish up this little here paddle and uh we've got a seven eight hour drive to head home and i'll be the next week or so getting this stuff ready for you guys to watch on that there youtubes so as always guys if you like the video hit the like button if you want to see more stuff like this hit the subscribe button and i will catch you guys at the next video Monty, have you been a good boy? Have you been a really good boy? Are, are you drooling right now? I think I see drool coming out of your Why are you drooling, Monty? That's, that's a fair amount of drool. Well, you've been a really good boy, and to commemorate that, I prepared this little doggy feast for you. We've got a ripped up bacon cheeseburger, a little dog kibble. We've got custard, vanilla custard with some milk bones. Do you think you want this, Monty? Are you sure? I mean, look at look at this drool. Watch this one one more drip, Monty, and then you can have this whole thing. There it is. Look at it, it's forming. Oh yeah, yummy, Monty. Okay, Monty, go ahead. I already knew he was going for the bacon cheeseburger first, so we decided to just put it all together. That's a good boy. That's pure bliss right there. That's a good boy. He deserves his his reward. Yeah. <laughs> this might be a little overdone, but I don't think Monty minds. This is one of the worst ideas I've ever had. Oh my gosh, Monty. You are just getting ice creamy drool all over everything. Monty, please, just eat over your bowl. Go ahead, yeah, get it. But for just, please. He like, his, his, when he grabs a piece of food, he's putting his nose over my seat here and just drooling. As you can see, ice creamy nastiness all where I rest my arm. No respect. No respect. Hi, Rugs. Oh, Rugus. Hi. Hi, puppy. Hi. Hi, Rugs. Oh, hi, puppy. Hi. Oh, it's the Rugus. Oh, it's the Rugus. Oh, Rugus. Hey, you got that butt swag? You got that butt wag? Are you happy to see me? Are you happy to see me? Where's your ears? Where are your ears? Huh? Oh, it's a good. That's a good boy. That's a good boy.